Hello, this is Richard. This is Games Freezer. We're doing a 10 minute tasting for a game called Hours Awakening. At least that's some uh, assuming how you say it. I uh, haven't played it before, don't know what it's going to be all about. Just picked it up, downloaded it. Very much a uh, retro feel, obviously, to the look of it and the, uh, and the sound as well. So let's have a peek. Um, we'll go straight into the game, start the game. New adventure. Alright, what have we got here? The land of Alwa was once a beautiful and peaceful place, filled with vivid lakes, clear skies and lush forests. Okay, the people living there were free, they took care of one another and together ensured the safety of the land. But one day, the peace was broken. Someone wanted Alwa for himself and a mystical being known as a vicar descended from above. Armed not by weapons, but instead driven by hate, he slowly began to enslave the people of Alwa. No one could escape his reach. Vicar formed the protectors. Together they sought to claim the ornaments which are said to give their owner immense power. The ornaments had always been in the hands of the people, safe from evil. With them, captured by a vicar, all seemed lost. Under the demonic reign of vicar, the people of Alwa were helpless and his evil quickly spread throughout the land. The village where the ornaments were kept was destroyed and hope was gone soon began a darkness that would last for centuries. But things are about to change. The people of Alwa have chosen to fight and from another world a heroine has been sent for... For what? Tell me. Forsaken Valley. Oh, it's been sent for. <laughs> Just my intonation on the sentence. Wake up, Zoe. That must be me. The eternal flame must be lit. Okay. Come on, Zoe. Hello, Zoe. You're in the land of Alwa. I am Saga, and I have brought you here to help us. Cheers, Saga. Alwa has been enslaved by evil and we, the people, have lost our strength and courage to fight back. We cannot do this alone. You must help us. You are stronger than us and in time you will uncover your true strength. You must enter this tower and go all the way to the top in order to find the magic staff. When you have found the staff, quickly make your way back to town. But watch out, there are many dangerous foes out there. Okie dokie, pig and a pokey. Right, left and right, jump with X. Anything else? Okay, I can just jump at the minute, right. Push up to climb a ladder, standard. Nice floaty jump. Looks good, feels good. Uh, invokes feelings of shovel knight straight away obviously because of the pixel graphics oh well done totally my fault just gotta get used to the uh, jump right up we go let's go and get the staff easy peasy you found a magic staff. When you hold it, you can feel there is something really special with this item. Use it with attack to fight enemies and to destroy certain walls. Cool. So attack is square. X is jump. And the other buttons don't do anything yet. Okay. Right. So I probably could break that down. Break it down. 
kicking skeletons. Nice. Love this music, by the way. Great stuff. Can you do mid-air attacks? Yeah, you can. Oh, pumpkin man. Hey, pumpkin man. I'll take one hit, so I don't need to be too... Uh... Down the well? No, can't go down the well. Alright, let's just make this jump. Uh, can I go right? And brush seculum. Oi oi. Go and light the flame in the centre of this room. Doing so will let you start from here if your adventure comes to an end. Cool. Game saved, okay. What else we got? Uh, I ain't gonna be able to make it over there. Those star blocks remind me of um, Alex Kidd in Miracle World. Right, back to the Forsaken Valley. Get up here, fight the slimes. Is there no points to be gained from uh, killing enemies? Oh. Great soundtrack, really cool. Right up we go. Go to the right and see what we've got over here. Oh, this looks interesting. Something tells me I need a double jump. Must be something I get to get a double jump. Um, can I beat the wall up? No. Enemies respawn. That's all right. They only take one hit. Right, here we go. Got him. Right, got to get over to that side. Hit him up. Up the ladder. Up this ladder. Oopa. Whoa. Okay, those uh, crumbly blocks fall away. Be careful. Okay. Wait, come back. Take that pumpkin man. Right, let's see if I can. Oh. without being hurt so that's good news um, this must be a save area again right yeah it's over here warp activated mm. what does this do oh I see now I can warp to anywhere uh, let me come out of that because I don't want to do that yet and what are you saying mate Beyond this door you will find Amber Sakellum, the first step on your journey. In there you will find a green gemstone and a very powerful enemy. When you have found the stone and defeated the evil, go back to town. This dungeon is very dangerous, so you will need a map. First you should go talk to the Platt in the town of Westwood, then pick up the map. Do that and I will let you in. Okay, I need a map. Here, see what's happening up here. No, can't 
go any further that way. What's this saying? Left Void Tower, right Town of Westwood, right, so that's where I want to go. Alright, here we go, here we go. Town of Westwood, yo! I took a bullet! Welcome Zoe, this is the town of Westwood, yo! Thank you for coming to the land of Awa. You have been sent for because we are weak. You must help us destroy the evil that threatens our land. Go back to the cave just outside town and talk to the knight. He will open the entrance to Amber Sucralum. There you will find a green gemstone and a very powerful enemy. But before you go, enter this house where you can find a map of Awa. It will guide you in your journey. Go now, Zoe, and return when you when you found the green gemstone and defeated the evil enemy. Cool. Right, let's go and get the map. Cheers, chap. Chap map. Um, if you check your inventory, it now shows your location. Go on, try it now. Okay, I'll we'll try it now, shall I? Uh, okay. How do I do that? Oh, look, there you go. That's my location. Hmm. Right, so that's options to go into my uh, map. Can I go this way? Hello, I'm Ori Waruri. Welcome to the town of Westwood. I know a lot of things, so come talk to me if you ever need any help. Cheers, mate. What about your El Gato? If El Gato. Do not stare too long at the light. Mm. Good little tip there. Alright, let's make our way back. Forsaken Valley, back where we came from, find the night. Oh, yeah. Right, down, 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 the down. Uh, this way, there's the night. There he is. So I'm assuming Westwood will be. Oh, no. Oh my! Oh. oh well. I thought Westwood might be on that list now, but it's part of the Forsaken Valley, so there you go. Now that you have the map, you are ready. When you have found the green gemstone and the evil is defeated, go back to town. Now let me open this door for you. Alright, I'm in. Amber Sakellum. Definitely can't get up there yet. There must be a double jump that I learned, surely. Right, here we go. So I can go down here. I can't get any further than that. That's the green gemstone, right? So onwards and upwards. Whee, you got one of them blue ones, whatever they do. I'm not sure of as yet. There's a key. Everyone needs a good old key. But I'm not sure how to get up there. Why, you little. Able to make that jump. Ah, oh, right. Here we go. So that is. 
that. And then I'll need to go down here. Right. Ooh, they're pint size. That's proper like um, Alice Kid in Miracle World. And that's where I bloody come in, wasn't it? Oh, mate. Oh, this is the first time I got it. Uh, was that the f where I come in? No. Ignore me. Oh. Oh. Oh, you. What? What? Right. So I'm another guy. I can get hit three times, basically. Yep, Amber Sakellum. Yep. I'm on my way, I'm on my way. Amber Casellum. Amber Sakellum. Right, no cheap hits. Up we go. Cross here we go. Amber Casellum we go. I'm on fire. Oh, that's good. Uh, but I don't need that right now because I've got. Hearts, so just pick it up. Right, I need to get that key. Gurcha. I don't know why they keep dropping um, heart pieces now. Where's the key gone? Oh, is it already open? Right. I, I'd assume it's retained what I've done in terms of opening this. Yeah. Okay. Can I use this that way as well? Let's have a look. Oh no, that disappears. Oh, now it's gone. Oh no, there is. Okay. Down, 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 da down. Right. Okay. Right, be careful of these. Whoa. Whooper. Ah! Kind of mid-air attack. You want it to be able to be a bit more precise. Right, anyway. Yikes! <laughs> Woo! Ah! Now I need you to drop arts, you douchebags. Oh god, I can duck anyway. Um, quack, quack. Ah! Now that's cheap. Ooh, I pity the fool. <sighs> right, anyway. Really cool looking game. Really cool sounding game. Um, well made. Feels good. Good controls. If you like your retro pixel art platformer style games, um, kind of a little bit of, feels like it's going to be some Metroidvania type stuff, things open up um, the more you progress in different areas on the map, so that, that's cool as well. If you like that kind of stuff, then I would recommend giving this a go. It's currently on PlayStation 4, uh, Alma's Awakening, or Alma's Awakening I should say. Anyway, this is Richard. This was Games Freezer's 10 minute taster for Hours Awakening. Goodbye my friends. <laughs>